Welcome, 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 everybody. Hopefully, you're having an awesome, awesome, awesome day. I really appreciate you coming and checking out the stream. If you are new to the stream, please make sure you go ahead and click that little subscribe button wherever it is on your screen. Click it. Really appreciate it. And I guess you should like like the video because apparently that's important for YouTube's algorithms. Um, really awesome uh, stream plan for you guys today. Uh, as a heads up, it is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legend, so major shout out, shout out to them. Um, so we'll get into it. Today's going to be a pretty awesome stream. If you're like, hey, bro, I really don't want to watch through like an hour and a half worth of content or however long it's going to take to stream, uh, I do plan on going ahead and recording and making a content video of the uh, of the important parts, which in my opinion would be the, the live hero gradings. So I will be doing that for you guys today so you guys can see that. It did take me quite a while to go ahead and actually get the gradings for you guys because it was, um, in my opinion, uh, probably the two most complicated heroes in Empires and Puzzles. Uh, as soon as it launched, we, we'd been talking about it before, uh, discussing everything, and then um, got a lot, a lot, a lot of feedback and had a lot of major, lot of major discussions on uh, the Chameleon and Gazelle. So I really had to, uh, to take time to really break things down, get into the nitty gritty, find out a lot of different details, and really go into it. But I do have a lot of really fun stuff that I'm going to be doing today as well. I do have my war hits that I still got to do. Uh, we've got a Titan 2 that we're going to like smash into. And all around just some fun plan today. So uh, a little bit earlier stream than, than normal. Um, I wanted to make sure I got to this before before I went to church and did that whole thing. So I've been up early working on this for you guys. So what's up, JP? How are you, buddy? Just waking up? Yeah, me too. I I, what did, I think I woke up at like 6.30. Um, what's up, Dave? How are you, man? Uh, uh, Demos, what's up? From London. Oh, sweet. What's up, Daisy? From the Netherlands. How is, uh, how's the Netherlands? It's pretty sweet. You haven't done anything with your chameleon yet. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll definitely we'll talk about that for sure. Um, yeah. So I got my root canal planned for Tuesday. Um, as you know, I just honestly I'm just always working on my teeth apparently. So that's planned. Uh, but yeah, let me um I'm gonna go in do some Titan stuff. I'll get into the the raid uh, my raid tournament defense too. Talk about what I'm doing there. Um, I've been checking the war a little bit. Looks like we're a little bit. We I could probably close this gap. What are we six six or six behind them? I think we're a little bit behind at the moment. I gotta I gotta really do pretty well on this, I guess. Chat. What's up, lady? All right. So Julia's going in. We're going in for a reset. All right. So I think I'm going to go attack over here. Uh, a lot of people don't like bringing yellows. Um, but I'm okay to, to bring a yellow on this. This is going to be my team here. It's mostly just Ranveer for tiles. This is a little bit risky, but, um, but I want to make sure I've got a strong... I've got a strong team for my uh, for my next hit. So, mass attack happens shortly, so hopefully you'll be gone for your hit soon. Oh, okay, cool, man. So I'd really like to get. JP, thanks so much for uh, for becoming a member. I really appreciate that, buddy. Um, as soon as somebody from Anchor Cove gets on, uh, we'll add you to the group. I really, really appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. All right, so I've got... I think Arsenia is going to go off, which is unfortunate. Because I don't think... 
Um, I may have to get like a critical hit to knock it Ursanid. Oh, well, I'm really good at this game apparently. She didn't go off. So I should be able to turn the corner after this. Hopefully you miss. Oh, apparently not. Well, so much for turning the corner, chat. Hopefully you miss. So much for missing. Okay. Well, that's kind of aggravating, chat. I had a yellow diamond. I missed it. How did I miss it? I'll go back. I'm probably going to go back. That stinks, chat. All right. I'll get the rest of them. Yeah, so let me see. Uh, JP, I'll get you. Um, yeah, give me a second. Uh, JP, we'll get you. We'll get you at it for sure. Um, uh, once once somebody comes in from the cove, I'll absolutely get you at it, JP. Um, we have discussion within our alliance about choosing the same color tank for wars. Some say it's a great idea, others think, yeah, it's, um, Daisy, it's, a, it's incredibly beneficial. Yeah, as Dave just said, it's advantageous. It's a better way of saying that. Uh, so the reason why is because, um, it's mostly for the second round when everybody's going in. They don't have the opportunity to be able to, um, to ha like, when you do that, I sh should have June Rana and Gretel Lassie. Yeah, I was, um, I was way focused on uh, Zeline not going off because I needed to throw my tiles over there. Yeah, I, I goof that up. You you know what it is, honestly, chat. I like I like never use Gretel. Um, so yeah, I don't really use her, which I should. She's pretty awesome. But I just didn't want Zeline to go off. Um, but yeah, it's it's super important to have the same color tanks because what ends up happening is people typically are going to color stack against the the tank position when you're when you're building a team and so when you have to build six teams that are going up against the same color tank it makes it very difficult as time goes on yeah I'm glad you're able to catch him pal um, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna use to kill this guy I don't even remember what he had alright I think I'm gonna bring blue stuff but I don't know if I wanna bring my strong blue team I just kind of want to. No point in really making a purple team. Zeline can go off if they have no snipers. Shouldn't care. No, I don't know about that because Zeline just makes it so you, um, you just literally do no damage. And with that team, I have nothing to uh, to counteract Zeline. Whereas snipers can go off and, and one shot one for one, but me just continuing it on uh, would be tough. What's up, Queen Bianca? Can you, uh, Queen? Oh, and also Green Raper, uh, uh, Grim. Grim can add, also add you all, as well, too. Um, what's up, Grim? Uh, if you could do me a favor, uh, JP, go ahead and post your, um, post your line ID, and uh, either Grim or Queen will add you for sure. So I can post a diamond in line. Okay, it's a really odd one. Yeah, I appreciate that. Okay, um, all right, so I'll just bring kind of second tier dudes. 
think I've benched you right now at the moment. Uh, Boral's actually pretty decent, so we'll bring this. Leader says we play strong cards if we play a color not specific, color tank. I'm going to attack. Um, yeah, I don't know, I mean... I don't like... I, um... It's up to you. I just know for me it's a lot easier if heroes are, um, if I have a way to color stack against their tank. So that guy's dead. You need to hold a build of a tile damage to get specials. Yeah. Spend money on this game, but struggling to get five star heroes, thirty two power, and you advance. Yeah. So, uh, so definitely for you, buddy. Your major focus, instead of like doing, uh, let me just go through this real quick, because I think that this is um, this is important for people to hear and understand. So. If you are wondering the best way to go ahead and get the uh, five-star heroes, it's going to be with these guys right here. These are your training camps. So right now you can see all of my training camps are at level 20. You're pro if you're struggling to dig a five-stars, you're probably not at that point, but that should be your major, major, uh, major focus. Your biggest focus is getting your stronghold to level 20 first and then bringing your training camps, at least three of them, up to level 20. And then your other one you can run on two and one. Uh, the two and the one will give you enough feeders to consistently work on feeding your heroes. But it's going to be really, really important to get these all the way up. So you can be running them um, over here at uh, with the chance of epic and legendary heroes. And that will be really beneficial to you because you're going to be setting yourself up to where you have uh, the greatest chance of getting five-star heroes, which is the most important thing. And a lot of the basic heroes are um, are really good to be to be using because they they still are, are super important uh, later in the game. So if you're more on the level of free-to-play, highly recommend your biggest focus is going to be getting three of these up to level 20, running all three of them at 20, and then running one of these, which actually it's, the, it's this one right here that I have, that is running on, um, for me right now, it just consistently runs it at two. Um, and then that way you can build up your, your heroes that way. So hopefully that helps for them. Um, okay. Uh, let me get back to that. Okay. You do believe in same color tank. We'll send back to others who are orange. Oh, cool. Yeah, I appreciate it, Daisy. Uh, you don't have to go mono with 221. Yeah, a bunch of tanks. Yeah. What's up, Raiders? How are you, man? What's up, uh, Pormont? Yeah, neither one of you... Uh, okay, yeah, so you guys can figure that out there. Okay, um, let me get back into war. Okay. Um, so I think we're still going to need another reset. So I'm going to try and go for another... Um, they all have, see, so chat, just so you can see, see as well that you guys are questioning, like, is it better? So right now, this team, the alliance that we're facing, they even make it hard for bringing uh, green heroes, because right now there's no, there's no heroes, um, there's no uh, blue heroes that are flanking. So they only have green and blue in the the in the wings. So you can see Finley, um, you can see Finley, Kingston, um, Frida Evelyn, 
Morgan Finley. So you get what I'm saying? So even they have it set up that it has pretty much the same the same um, defense. And this is why, for me, it makes it even difficult to go ahead and bring heroes. So like right now, my green suit is hard because I don't, I don't have the benefit of really stacking. Like if I bring green heroes against like this team, it makes it a lot difficult because Finley's all the way in the back, in the back. So I'm not, I can only color stack against really three different types, purple, yellow, and blue at this point. So um, because you're mostly going to be targeted on trying to kill, to, to kill the front. So that's why, uh, especially at the at the top end alliances, you're starting to see more alliances that are having the same color wing, same color wings, same color flanks, even though they do make it interchangeable for um, for for uh, potential color stacking. So yeah, took you 504 to get a five star. Wow, that's crazy, lady. I've actually been pretty decent about getting five stars. It's funny because if I do get a five star, because I do have one of my training camps running five stars, mostly for ham, but sometimes the ham goes off before I can use it. And um, so right now I've actually been giving uh, giving away a free roll. Whoever guess whoever guess which um, uh, whoever guesses which which one I get. Um, they actually get a free roll, so it's kind of funny. Uh, so, lady, how you do that? Uh, how you join Anchor Cove is uh, there's a description in the the video of this, which says uh, the easiest way to join Anchor Cove. It is a uh, five dollar monthly donation through either PayPal or uh, YouTube has a way that you can set it up. How um, how JP signed up. Um, so either of those two ways, anybody that becomes a member. I add over to uh, to Anchor Cove, and that's pretty much the only place that I do chat in, and um, and it's where where if you have any questions, you can always um, ask me a question. And there's lots of really really good players that are in there as well too. So um, if that's something you want to do, certainly that that information is in the description of this video. What's up, JJ? You watch a replay? All right, cool man. Stronghold 19, yeah. Yeah, you yeah definitely. Um, Mattergren, you want to absolutely get, get your stuff up to twenty. I probably should have uh, made a video on that. Oh, cool, JP. I'm glad glad you got out of the group. That's awesome, man. Uh, a friend of mine is running. Oh, run from seventy D. Um, pick your five for defense and stack emblem emblems. Yeah, I do absolutely agree. And Rum's my really really good friend actually. Um. I love rum. Um, yeah, absolutely. I, I heavily support that. JP, I actually made a video on emblems that talks about that that very thing. Is it worth a chain, Valia? Uh, I'd recommend go ahead and wa uh, Powell go ahead and watch my last content video that I just released two days ago on Valia. So she's pretty awesome. All right, let me go. Let me go attack some stuff. I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm gonna kill another Senya. I'm gonna go. It's like more of a weaker Senya. This is a really good Senya team. This is probably the best team right now. Um. This is a really good team. I'm gonna catch up. It's so funny. I need I need another solid uh, four star yellow. Yeah, he is a really great dude. So we're getting into the danger mode, danger zone chat.
Hussein is just so good. I just am not getting yellow tiles. Trying to think if there's a way. All right, so if I make this move up here, I have the potential to maybe kill her, but it's going to be a stretch, chat. Because this move is going to kill, clear out the blues. It's going to clear out the green. It'll bring the down. Yeah, this is that's my best bet. She's just, she's way too strong. Oh, that's super annoying. All right, but I'll bring a purple team and I'll kill it. I went after the strongest team. All right, um, so I can bring my strongest purple team. Oh, you can't see him? Sorry. Let me fix that. There you go. Sorry about that. Oh, and I still don't think you can see it all the way. It's so sensitive, chat. Let's see if I can go like that. That should do it. Okay. He's so strong. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm just like looking at him like, oh, wow, he's so... Dude, Finley's... Yeah, this is definitely... This is probably the... Probably the best team in Empires and Puzzles right now. What this person has. All right. And he's only worth 48 points. All right, so I got two left... So. Uh, I'm in uh, I'm in King of the North right now, hanging out with my friends in King of the North. North. Okay. Sounds good, Dave. All right, so you had five solos this war, but most of your alliance struggles are probably gonna lose that sink. Sorry, Raiders. Is there saying you solo at 370 out of mats? Um. She's still pretty hard. She's she's still pretty good. Uh, anyone watch Jolly Joker stream? I don't even know who Jolly Joker is. Yeah, that didn't go well. It's all good. Sometimes it happens. Um. All right. So. Definitely want to one shot these last two. What do I got left? I have red, blue. Uh, so I have my blue team. I'm going to bring my blue team against this guy. Alright, so you. You. You and you and. Mm. 
All right, so there's that move there. I'm going to go ahead and try and make a blue diamond. See? See how important that first move is, Chad? I hope you guys see that. Like, that board was totally out of sorts, totally whacked out. Uh, but making that making that first move is super 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 mega important Because I've literally I literally just won the game like that my my first move just won. see that's why like so many people are like Oh, like it's all about luck like the board is all about luck, but when you see that like you create your own luck And now I win Um Alright, so I think I'm going to throw that there, this there, and then this dot should do work on these guys. Uh, what's up, Joe? Great to see you. Thanks, I appreciate it, Joe. You strongly put together a six war team. You have five war teams can roll out, but after they run max five stars, don't know how long it takes for me to get there. Uh, it just takes time, Raider Talk. Don't worry about it. That move I would have done only because you're watching the streams. Oh, that's cool. You... Do I always choose war? Uh, yeah, I personally do. Yeah, using your first move not to do tile damage to look at better boards is very helpful. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you, I mean, you can see right there, that's like proof of it. Because that, that board was trash. It was like such an awful board, and I had to like really look at it. And I knew that I had a probability of hitting that. My probability was about 20% on that. But it was still, it still put me in a position better than where I was at. And if I get that, I, I just win. Um... All right, what is my last team here? I'm not going to attack this guy, I don't think, but... Um, all right, so I have green and red. I kind of like my green team. All right, so let's find... So I'll run green, green here. I'm okay with that. Alright, um, oops, I'm on Tarlac or Gregorion, oh actually, what am I doing, this is my first time actually using Mother North chat, I should probably level her up more, um, yeah, I've never ran Mother North, this is literally the first time I've ever I've ever ran Mother North. All right, let me see. Can I make a diamond out of this? No, I think I'm okay with just making a strong color match and then killing uh, Kunchen, or hopefully killing Kunchen. Mmm, go there or there? I think I'll go there. Chat, I'm super excited to run Mother North. Uh, so that should kill you. Let's go over here. No, it didn't. That's annoying. You know what's funny, Chaz? I'm kind of like... I feel so strong having Mother North on my team. It's almost like I don't care if you kill my heroes, dude.
we got that one then. So not the greatest, 200 some odd, 216 more is not that great. But let's see how far away, 256. Now we're actually, I mean six flags to go, we, we're, we're in okay shape. We're in okay shape, we should be all right, chat. Down by 200 points, less than 180 points with six flags. Hold on, 56, 50, yeah. We should be okay. Um, all right, let me scroll up here real quick. Do I always run Mono War? Yeah, I already answered that. I usually go 3-2. Uh, usually in raids, I do it too. What's up, uh, K Burrow? <laughs> Not to be confused with Q, -bor uh, Q Burrow, which is your actual name. Um, North is a difference maker on offense, possibly the best uh, offensive here. Yeah, she's she seems uh, really good. Like I mean, I obviously knew that she's really good. I've just never I've never been able to do it. So yeah, Albie is better. Yeah, um, I wish I had Albie instead, but either way, I'm glad. I was really glad to get Mother North. Actually, I wasn't that glad because it cost me a lot of money. I was actually not stoked on that at all, chat. Um, because I, I, like, had to get Valia, and it was, like, the first hero that I've, like, spent on, and then, like, did it, and I was, like, pretty depressed after, so, um, yeah. Yeah, North is better than Albi, because once emblem, she is super hard to kill. Cage Liana, can't bring down the North at 17. Um, you like Albi, Yeah. I like Alby a little bit better for sure. Rim both for six months. Norris Mono Green team has ten to twelve percent better win rate. Ninety six. Uh, it's a pretty pretty uh, pretty. What's it called? Uh, that's like a very specific percentile win rate. Ninety six percent. That's pretty insane. A year from now, you'll love North more than Albie. Promise me that? Huh, interesting. I think uh, Albie is just way better on defense, though. Uh, but I'm going to be... I'm deciding whether or not I'm going to want to run my Mother North or um, or Kingston on defense. And I think I'm probably going to run Mother North. Because uh, I'm definitely going to strip the emblems from... From uh, Elkanen. Right. So I'm definitely going to strip Elkanen's cleric emblems and run her. Raids for offense only. I mean, Albie's still really good. I do. She'll probably be amazing for uh, for the revival part. Because you can plan it a lot better. You were just playing Xmas Boat. Pulled a bunch of four stars and only two Hero of the Month so far January. Been better at four Valeo. Nice. You have Hero grading bookmark, but lost it somehow. How can I access the file? Uh, so if you look over to the left of my screen... You should see that little link that says anchorgame.com slash grades. Make sure the G is lowercase um, and that time. I know, free ad time, right, Terrence? <laughs> it's so funny. Every time I do it, I'm like, oh, I should probably like click off the stream. But I was like, whatever, you guys worked for it. For it. Um, Nor, Sheshat, Santa, Drake, Kingston. You can run both. Uh, not on my regular defense. Not for like a war defense though. Uh, I gotta attack this Titan. What am I doing on this Titan so far? I don't even remember. Uh, so three hits at 112 is not bad. No, you're good, man. Don't worry about it, Tudor. Uh, you're you're not the only one. Um, you're not the only one. I've had actually I've had quite a few people that have left a comment in the stream. Like, uh, after the fact, and they're like, how do I get to the grades? I'm like, well, if you watch the video, it does, it does say it there. It might be a little bit hard to read, uh, but don't worry about it, Tudor. 
It's all good. What's your advice on leveling heroes quickly? Um, I don't think that you should level heroes quickly. I know that's like a cool thing. Like if you look at like other YouTube videos and stuff like that, like you see like a ton of people that are like leveled XYZ in three minutes or whatever. And um, I think that that's, that's good information. Like that's, I guess that's good for people that are doing that. Like, but I think that that's definitely more of a, a higher end type of goal. Like for me, I level heroes quickly because I just don't have other heroes that I need to level up. I think that you should work on leveling heroes. Like I, I don't really recommend that advice for most players. But to answer your actual question, um, it's it's mostly just a matter of saving up resources to do it. So right now I do have it set up that. I can level up heroes quickly uh, because I have too many other heroes that I'm just not using and I don't need to level them up. So for me, it definitely makes sense. Oops, that was supposed to be a green diamond. That's kind of annoying. Um, so it makes sense. Um, but pretty much the way you do it uh, give me a second, I guess I might, might as well just record this as well too, chat. Um, so if you want to level up heroes quickly, you're going to want to put, so right now you can see I've got 1157 in this training camp that I can pull from. Uh, this one has over, so this one has 1300. So I have pretty much all the heroes that I'm going to need, and then it becomes a matter of ham or your food storage. So for me, I personally run my food storage in um, in Training Camp 20. So you can see right now, oh, I don't want to stop this training. Uh, what does it say? All right, so if you stop, all resources will be lost. So the reason why the resources will be lost is that I don't, I haven't expelled enough ham. So that's super important. Don't ever stop training when you get this notification or you lose everything. And the reason being is because I have too much ham. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is if I want to pull that out, I'd have to use some of my ham so I can go ahead and refill that up a bit. Um, but yeah, so pretty much what, what you want to do is you throw all your heroes into this. So I would just go like this, collect all these guys, go to the hero I'm doing, throw them all into her. And they go from there. Like the reason why she's not maxed right now is just pure laziness at this point. Uh, because I know I don't have enough um, enough iron to be giving her all my emblems. Because I'm still I'm focusing on buildings at the moment. And then also another thing that's super important is I wouldn't recommend just throwing at this stage right now at level 47. I wouldn't recommend just throwing all of your heroes into her. So what I would recommend is doing secondary heroes as well so what i do what i mean by that is i have a second tier team right now so this right here if you look at my team four team four right here this is my leveling team so right now currently i'm leveling up all of these guys right here and these guys are only being leveled up on extra heroes that i get just from running, um, just from running the, the, from farming. So I'm not using my regular heroes like you just saw for any of these guys. These are just guys that I'm collecting and I'm not collecting any heroes from my training camp right now. So what I'm at, at this stage with Mother North, what I'm doing is I'm going to throw every two star hero into Mother North and every green hero into Mother North. And the reason why I do that so this was a super lucky um, 20 pull because I had mostly two stars. Uh, the reason why I'm doing that is to conserve on my ham. So with these little, like these little random guys, I'm gonna go up here just to make space. I'm gonna go color specific. 
uh, was it red? Go color specific. And then after this, I'll start the whole process again. Pull from here. All two stars and green heroes are going to go to Mother North because she's at about that stage. And I recommend this at, at 70 as well when, you, when you're on the second tier. At about level 45 on third tier as well. So at level 45 at third tier, I also do the same thing. And it's just to conserve my ham. So you can see that's all the two stars. Now I do have some straggling greens. And then the rest of these will go to these heroes. Because it's my secondary team and this conserves my ham. So it's the best way to conserve your ham while getting the, mo the maximum amount of leveling on your heroes. So that's going to be super helpful for you. So like I said, like I'm just I'm being super lazy right now, or I could like literally finish Mother North out. Uh, but that's that for that. Um, okay. Back into this. You go back to chat real quick. Yeah, it should be called Empires and Patience for sure. You pair another more north with the Lady Lake, turn the tide. Yeah, definitely be huge. You need help with yellows. You have two jackals, Viv, Nine, Neath, if Gwen. Uh, I would definitely do Gwen. Your defense is just going to get way better, especially given what you have. Uh, I'd absolutely do Gwen and run her as a tank. I'm not huge on Leo as a sniper. And I'm not huge on Moosh. I mean, Moosh is okay, but I would definitely do Guinevere. What's the best way to get food and troops out of a packed TC-11? I just showed you that pretty much. Uh, so for me, you can see right now, chat, I run actually really slim. So I only have a day. I have a day. Like, I'm running pretty slim right now. Um, mostly because what I do is I'm saving up my world energy flask for Atlantis Rising. So when Atlantis Rising hits, I'll work on if I'm not being super lazy, I'll work on just using all my world, you know, my world energy flasks, my loot tickets, which actually I need to get more loot tickets, um, and just run them there and focus on getting all my recruits and stuff like that. So because of Atlantis Rising, I've been a lot more lazy with even just like my farming in general. Um, like this right here, I'll show you. Like this is my farming right here, chat. I go to 110. Do, oops, do my five and call it a wraps. Like that's been my farming. So I still have 13 backpacks. If I do, if I am starting to run and run slim on these, I'll just run some recruits, go to like uh, eight, seven and just get some rec recruits and fill them in there. But I used a ton of my recruits before in the past on TC19. Um, so that helps. All right, let me go do another Titan hit. Um, do this. Oh, that's not going to do me any good. Purple, no. Sorry, chat, just focusing. It wasn't that great of a hit. Maybe 30. Turn it 
23. All right. Uh, where are we at on this Titan? I think I'm supposedly. I think I'm allowed to use a thing. All right. Let me um. Let me do my raid defense too. Okay. Um. What's up, uh, DJ Toja? What's up, man? You have mats for 25 max 80s and 35 star adventure. Oh, wow. Too much ham or too many heroes? You're leveling four, four heroes at once right now. You're super slow. Valia, Lena, Sheshar, Jackal. I think that that's fine. Like, I would just focus on, like, it depends on your needs. Like, for me right now, I don't, like, I don't really need those three stars. I don't really need Mother North. So at this point, I'm just kind of leveling up kind of what I want. What's up, Julia? How are you, dear? Um, oh, I can flash the Titan? All right, so I will. I'll do that for sure. TC19 is how you manage massive gold. Yeah, it is. Yep, that's what I did. I, I had a ton on uh, running on 11, but it was just it was just wasted. It was just wasted uh, recruits. Do it prefer Miki or Tarlek? Uh, so, JP, I did make a video on that. Uh, and Miki does get an edge for sure. How many years have I been playing? Uh, in March, it'll be three years that I've been playing. I started playing... Uh, I started playing... Like, two months after the game came live. Goon says cap before Panther. That may be the case. Is that the case with those? Usually, it's always the elemental defensive down first. To me, it's, like, not worth the, the debate, I guess. Like, let me look at them both. Uh, where are you at, cat? Where is that cat at? Am I just blind? Oh my god, I can't find this guy. Oh, it's probably because it's up in my actual team. Alright, I get minus 44 defense. 54? I don't know. Why Why do you say, why do you say the opposite order, Goon? Oh, that does make sense. Alright, yeah. No, Goon, you're absolutely 100% correct. Thanks, Goon. Yeah, so Cat doesn't do direct damage, so Sheshar Cat should be first, and then Panther. Yeah, it's so funny. You're 100%, 1 million percent correct. Thanks, Goon. See? Anchor learns new things every day, too. Um, okay, so I can flask on this guy. That's why Will Rakunchun is before the elementals. Yeah. No, that makes perfect sense. Uh, so let's fix this. Um, does that mess up? That doesn't really mess it up. So hopefully I get the uh, purple diamond, almost. Uh, I'm hoping that I'm gonna wheel and do something okay. So if you guys are uh, if you guys are playing competitively and have like a decent roster, I highly highly recommend checking out King of the North where I'm at currently right now. Um, they've been like super amazing ever since the beginning. I've actually talked about King of the North for a long time, uh, actually when I left the game, um, and I think um, I helped out a little bit before in the past too. So. If you guys are looking for like a um, a fun kind of competitive alliance, maybe want something a little bit different, uh, the alliance that I'm in right now, King of the North, is is uh, they're amazing, they're awesome, super super cool, super chill. Um, it's been really fun for me because it's just been it's just been super chill. So um, could definitely um, check that out. Uh, 
I don't want you to die. Uh, that was supposed to not go that way. Rip. I hate when my fat thumbs get in the way. One more. Green diamond. I definitely hit my Tarlac. Come on. That's so annoying when you like hit it and it doesn't actually activate. Sometimes when I'm not seeing the move, I'll click auto real quick once. So that's also like a really big tip for you guys. There's times when like I can't see what move that they're giving me. So if you just click the auto button once, it'll automatically give you the, the first move. And it takes a whole lot less than scanning the board a whole bunch. So, um, so that'll help on that on this Titan. All right, so Hunter behind him. Okay, um, all right, so your next question is when you get your mana troops currently up to 11, trying for 17, then 23, do I ever spend on troops? Uh, me personally, chat, I don't personally spend on troops, excuse me, um, I did a little bit probably two years ago, and I really messed up because I started leveling up the wrong troops, that's like one of my biggest regrets that I ever did, is, um, is that I went ahead and leveled up a whole bunch of um, critical four-star troops rather than my four-star mana troops. So that was probably the biggest thing. Yeah, click it twice, yeah. You want to click it twice to, to switch it off, yeah. Um, so I personally would recommend bringing your first set of mana troops up to level 30 for sure. Uh, and that's kind of what I'm working on right now. So even if you guys look at my troops, this way, troops. Um, so this level 21 has been at level 21 for the longest time. And see, I double messed up. The first purple four stars was this, and then I got this. So I've been I had been leveling those two up, and then I realized that um, that you don't want to level up those so i've been now for the last last year i've been throwing all my troops into or sorry probably two years it's been a while that i've known about this i just haven't been collecting them and i've been throwing them all into my mana troops so my this one's so far behind um i did i did get this was my first one as well as this was my first one so you can see why those are at 26 and 28 but i had another issue here i had a 24 
this one went way up, and then I was like, oh, crap, I need mana troops. So I started leveling this one up. So you guys, people that join the game later have a way better, um, way better opportunity at this because you get to learn. Same thing happened here. So I've just, like, I've had, like, 21, 22, and 24 on my defense for, like, literally probably a year and a half, two years that those have just been there. And I've been throwing everything else into my secondary. And I'm kind of a, I'm, I'm considering just, like, spending some money and just getting the troops and finishing them out. But it's, like, it's hard for me to justify it. Um, all right, so tournament defense... So I did make a video on this before, but I'll go in and show you guys my defense. And then after this, I'm going to get into the grading of Guardian Gazelle and Guardian Chameleon as well, too. So, All right, so this is so this is five stars, or sorry, four stars, uh, all five colors, and healing and resurrection have no effect. So with this, you'd want to be running a rainbow defense for sure. And I would recommend running a defense that is fast. And obviously, you want to make sure you want to want to run a defense that doesn't heal. Um, so a couple of things that really help out. Buddy is kind of cool in this. Uh, but ideally, you want to find the heroes that deal the most amount of damage um, at at like a fast at a fast speed, fast pace. Um, so I definitely want to be running Buddy. Usually what I do on these is I just run defensive down heroes. So I'm kind of thinking about tanking with uh, this Tibertus. And then running like... Because uh, I like always want defensive down on them. And to always be hitting the most amount of heroes. So my option is running like Wilbur as my tank. Possibly Wilbur. I think I want to run Wilbur tank. Wilbur tank seems good. And then I want to definitely be running five colors. So I think I'm going to go this. And then this. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I want in the corner there. I think I'm going to run this. I think I ran this before, and it worked out pretty well. Uh, so just like everything, just all they are always going to have defensive down. And it's always, I think they all have the same amount of defensive down, right? 34. What are you at? Oh no, so this is 44. Are you at 34? Yeah, 34. 34, yeah. So um, so the only one that has higher defensive down is Wilbur. So I think I'm totally fine with this. I think this is going to be a pretty good team. Uh, it's just going to deal a whole bunch of damage. If, like, they're at a liability on any of these. Because if you have one defensive down and then you also being hit with another defensive down. Um, so Tibertus is good because there's not much good hitting yellows. That is a good point. Uh, Tibertus might be pretty decent. Tibertus is pretty good. Giving all heroes defensive down. I'm just trying to think. Should I run Tibertus? The only reason why I was like hesitant on running Tibertus tank was because of the color stacking. I mean, I guess I could run like, hold on, like this. Because I definitely, like, I need either Wilbur or Flanking. And I definitely need Buddy Flanking. So, like, I could run that. Or... The other option is I could run that. But I think I like Wilbur better. Smashing them with defensive down. No, they don't stack at all. Um, uh, they don't stack at all. So that's, but that's okay. 
Tips, costume, defense, yeah, the, it does hit the whole team. High-level troops are a big investment, if not playing for a long time. Like Anchor, I have some high elemental, but slowly they get all male, yeah. See, that? that's what happened to us, Julia, with us being, like, OGs, dude. We didn't know. Like, th this didn't, like, Julia's been playing, Julia's been playing for just about as long, if not longer than me. Julia's always been in the game. Um, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna run... I'm gonna run Wilbur. Um, but I kind of want Tiberta's flank. I mean, this is it's an awkward color stack. Where are you at? Yeah, I think I like this better. And then Grim, Grim in the corner. Yeah, that seems, or actually I should swap these two, huh? Let's do that. Uh, hold on, do I want Tibertus or Buddy to go off first? Either way, I think that this team will do really well. Because Wil Wilbur's super important because he doesn't heal. Uh, but he, he, light, he pretty much heals, but he doesn't heal. Um, yeah, I'm gonna run this, it works for me, okay, give me one second, so we'll put that up, alright, uh, give me a second chat, uh, hold on, I'll be right back chat. Hold on a second, chat. Okay. Turn off. All right, so... I'm just gonna play Raid for a little bit. Uh, as I mentioned before, Raid did sponsor this video. Uh, if you guys haven't checked it out yet, it would really, 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 really appreciate it if you guys do check it out. The uh, the description in the description there are is the there is the the links to go ahead and click on. And with those links, uh, you actually get a bunch of really cool bonuses too. So you actually get 100,000 silver, two clan boss keys, uh, 10 mystery shards, and adjudicator. So adjudicator is actually a really cool three star. Uh, if you guys, I know you guys, if you do watch my stream, you guys have heard me talk about this. Uh, it does really help me out if you do check out the game. You don't have to buy anything. You don't have to spend any money. If you're like, hey, Anchor, I really want to support the stream. I really want to support you, but I don't really have money. This is the best way that you can go ahead and support me. And support the stream is just by checking out the description links they are in this video you check out the description links you download the game and you get all of your uh, all of your bonus items up here in this chest right up here once you once you do it you'll get all of your uh, your bonus items here so I am just gonna play raid um, raid for just a little bit and then after I finish up with the raid I will get straight into the uh, into the grading so um, Again, a massive huge shout out to, to Raid because Raid has been uh, what has been allowing me to continue to, to stream for you guys. So, um, adjudicate, Adjudicator hits hard, been leveling her. Oh, cool. So, so K Burrow, not to be confused with Q Burrow, uh, checked it out. Uh, so, you checked out Raid like two days ago? Um, and. So apparently you've been playing long enough to know that it hits hard, so that's cool. Uh, Lafta, thank you so much for uh, for following. I appreciate that. All right, so JJ downloaded as well. That's really cool. Uh, so I did just finish in the tournament, I guess. I got six. Let's see. 
Okay. So this is my global leaderboard. Oh, so this is globally. That's pretty cool. What I'd like about their tournament too is that they set it up to where you're, um, you're kind of with other heroes. Oh, cool. Fights in your map. Okay, so somebody attacked me. Um, let's see, where is this? I'm just close that out. So they do have this this uh, champion training one. Surprise! I don't know where my rewards went for that one. Uh, so I'm leveling up this. This levels up stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, I gotta check in here real quick. We did have. Let me go check out. We're fighting this. Um, they have these uh, these clan boss. These clan bosses are actually really cool. Uh, battle. That's what I want to click on. Uh, so I did kill this. Oh, cool. Another one. Oh, sweet. Um. All right. Cool. So I can battle. Is this, um, oh, okay, so I want to go into the easy mode and battle this guy. Uh, so th these are kind of like the, the Titan hits, which is really cool. Yeah, it, it is different, Dave. Um, like I said, I, like, if you guys can check it out, I appreciate it. Um, you played run, uh, Raid for a few months and stopped to get back on EPO. Okay, that's cool. Play Hero Wars, cool. So this is, uh, this is kind of like their Titans that I'm fighting right now. Uh, which actually I just figured this out last stream. I just joined my first clan and they do have like if you look over the top left hand corner or bottom left hand corner They have an auto so it's just auto attacks But otherwise uh, Everybody has their own special attacks and special moves So It's me going in first fighting this fighting this guy So they, they do give you credit for checking in Every time you check in and stuff like that. And rather than having like three flags for Titans, you get you get two flags. Um Yeah, so Best event to make a 10k pool for free or pay to play. Uh Guardians that just passed, I would have said for sure, Zoltan. Guardians has a lot of really, really great heroes. Um, yeah, I'd personally say Guardians. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so this is ten. That does help. I kind of wish that uh, the Empires and Puzzles Titans had the same thing, so it is broken down into tents. So I'm close to doing like 5% of the total damage on this thing. 652, I think, is decent. Yeah, Guardians. Guardians is probably... That, I think, has the most value. Out of all of them. For sure. Uh, let me kind of show you, I guess, kind of the, the moves. So this guy, this is my main guy. This attacks everybody, so it's pretty cool. It shows you, and then they've got like little timers. This is your basic attack that you can do every 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 time. Um, so I'll just put this on here. Uh, this is like his main attack. This hits all the enemies, so this is pretty much like what's left. And they all have cooldown. This is pretty cool because it revives all your allies, and then heals. Uh, this also revives too. So right now I've got two guys that revive heroes. Um, 
but you can see it definitely goes way faster if you auto it. The one thing that I love about it too is that it has auto speed at two, so it just like it does it super quick. Yeah, Kale. What's up, Savage? Yeah, Kale is uh, my main my main starting hero. What's also really awesome about this is that your three star heroes and stuff like that, or champions that they call it, they actually um, they allow you to upgrade them to like four or five stars, and then you can actually get them to like the same status as like legendary, which I think is really awesome because it allows you to actually progress with your heroes rather than uh, if you just level up a hero and you don't really use it, and it just kind of goes away. Um, so that's, that's, that's like really cool about it. But these clan, these clan bosses, it's like funny cause like you guys know me, like I'm, you know, I'm pretty busy with playing, playing stuff and, um, like, it does find ways to, to, to have you keep playing the game. Who's Kale? Uh, who's that with Kale? Yeah, it's uh, Jizzo. Yeah. Jizzo is this guy. Alright, so. Not bad. You have War to Fight. Look forward to this. Thanks, JP. I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. So, 7% on him. It's pretty, pretty decent for two, uh, two hits. Okay, um, let me go, I'm just going to show you, like, the arena real quick. So this is, like, uh, this is, like, raiding, essentially, and you go and you, uh, you raid it, uh, you do it. So you're downloading new raid. Yeah, you can d definitely check it out. What clan am I in? Um, somebody from my last stream had me, um, had me enter. Uh, I think it's K... I forget what it's called. I'll show you in a second, chat. Uh, she's one of, uh, she's one of the Anchor Cove members. Yeah, if, if you guys, if you guys want to, uh, if you want to play my clan, you definitely can. Give me a second. Uh, what clan am I in? Clan. Uh, so it's SMWW. So if you do a search for SMWW, you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to find us, and then you can send a request to join, and then we can uh, then we can get it. All right. So Kunchin, go to emblem level 19, or should you start on White Rabbit? Uh, I would go to 19, to be honest with you, Rude. I mean, for me, it's it's mostly like I wouldn't be able to handle like 18 or 19 node. I would just want to max them out and finish it and call it uh, call it the you know the end of it because that would be super annoying to me personally. And then this is the campaign mode. After I do this campaign mode, I'll get into the. Uh, into the grades and everything like that with you guys. Uh, so right now I'm trying to auto through only using two heroes so I can get three stars. I don't know why he went to disintegrate first. Okay, cool. So yeah, so I'm I'm traveling through on this. But guys, if you like I said, if if you can do me a favor, check the game out, and um, 
and um, and let me know what you think about it. I know quite a few, as you guys saw, like quite a few people have uh, have checked it out. Do enjoy it. Like I said, if you if you want to, it helps me out. I'm a, I'm gonna do a summon. I forgot because I got this ancient shard here. So maybe I get a legendary. We'll see. This guy's huge. All right, slasher, not a legendary, but hey, that helps. Um. All right, let me uh. So again, uh, you do get 100,000 silver, two clan boss keys, 10 mystery shards, and the adjudicator, which is uh, like a main three-star hero that you can definitely level through. Um, so check out the description links on that. And let me go ahead. Give me a second. Okay. You know what's funny too, chat, is I think that air server finally is like not broken. If you guys remember like how much hassle air server gave me before in the past. Oh, it was so bad. It was like every day I had to deal with air server. It's gotten much better. It's starting to be a lot nicer to me. real quick all right um okay hopefully there's nothing embarrassing on my line give me one second hold on a second chat That's red. Why is that up? Chat, what did I do? Oh, that's what I did. Okay. Um, all right. So, all right. Let's get into these guys. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is kind of discuss the grading, and what I'm going to do is actually grade them live as we speak. Uh, these guys are super, let me see if they're in here. Um, hopefully he's added. Yeah. Um, should have it in here. Stats. Let me see if he's in here yet. Sorry, chat. If not, I have a screenshot. All right. All right. So that should that should be enough. All right. So this is guarding gazelle. I'm gonna go over guarding gazelle first. Let me just start off and say, uh, can you guys read that? Hopefully that's readable. If not, I can find a different screenshot. Give me a second. I'm a. Uh, I've got it actually in my hero grading. Give me a second. Hero grading. All right. Um. All right, so this is a bit better for sure. So let's get into Guarding Gazelle. All right, first and, foremost, uh, first and foremost, it is a Druid class hero, which is pretty important because Druid doesn't have major things that it's competing against. You can definitely throw some Druid emblems in there. Uh, there are some good Druid heroes, but I definitely think that it's not the most sought after uh, emblem, such as like Fighter which I think that that's important when you're considering uh, leveling her up because she does have really good emblems. 
the other thing to uh, stats wise, she has really good stats. She's pretty. Uh, her attack power is uh, pretty good. Her defensive is really good. Her health total is really good. All around, pretty high average, which is good because it has a um, a pretty good sustainability to to stay alive. So it re re removes all dispellable and undispellable status effects from all allies except the caster. So this does include your elemental link, which seems kind of counterintuitive. So all of, just so you guys know, all of your other heroes, they get all of their stuff removed. And what it also makes is that you can't get new status effects. So those new status effects are either negative or positive. Um, so this comes into play to where if you're doing Titan hits, you got to keep in mind that attack power up, critical chance up, all that stuff. You cannot use Gazelle with those type of things. You also can't get negative effects to it too. It pretty much just bases the level that the hero out. Um, so that's a major thing, major thing to keep in mind when you're using her and you're pairing her up against different things. Uh, this also includes heroes that heal over time, so you don't want to be using her with, you know, say like Albi or something like that. You're not going to get the heal over time if you have your heroes dancing and her. Um, that's super, super important for you guys to know and understand. But what she does do is she does regenerate for herself. She regenerates 612 over four turns. And for four turns, all heroes. So basic at her level, what she does is she makes it so that she can't get status, or your other heroes, other heroes can't get status effects. And she dispels, she cleanses everybody, all of all of your heroes. And then she's healing over time for herself, okay? So her, herself, not that great. She's just essentially dispelling everything and then making it so she heals over time. That's super important to understand. But what she does do for all your other four allies is it gives them all 100% attack. So pretty much the same buff as like uh, Tarlac. But you can't stack her. You cannot stack her with like Kirill or Kiona or anything like that. You can only have the additional 100% attack. It reduces all received damage by 50%, which is super important. And it also gives Im uh, immunity to new status effects. It cannot be dispelled. So those are all the positives. Now let me just say that the positives are insane. Uh, she's absolutely bonkers when she goes into offensive raids because it makes it so all the damage is 50% off. And then it makes it so they can't get new status effects done to it. So you don't even care. And your attack power... In, now just so you know too, this is 100% attack. So this, this increases not only your tile damage, but this is also going to increase your status effects too. So this applies to both. It's not just your attack damage, um, it's all attack. So that's super important to also understand there too. The only issue is, is if the caster dies, the, dan the dancer receives 100% of the damage, which is not that much damage, it's not that end of the world, and their mana is reduced by 100%. So that's super, super important. That's the other negative part to Gazelle. So Gazelle has amazing, it's pretty much amazing positives, and then some, some drastic negatives. So the drastic negatives that come into Gazelle come into the fact of the the damage, and but most importantly, the mana, because it reduces all, all of your mana goes to zero. Um, and then it also sets it up too that you can't add positive status effects to your own heroes. So that's, that's the other negative. But the positives definitely by far out, outweigh the negatives. Um, the attack, it's insane. So the only thing that I have found is she kind of fits, she kind of fit in a similar role as like what I would compare to as Tarlac, to where when he goes off, because it increases all the tile damage, uh, you're healing over time, um, and Tarlac was amazing on raids, but it almost felt like I didn't need Tarlac at that point. Whereas Gazelle is definitely different because when you're adding the status effects, like you reduce all the damage, you 50% them off, and it's just you're like way ahead. So it's a way to like pretty much like almost guarantee a win when you're going offense. And I have seen countless, um, some really good videos on her that she does like a ton of damage. Um, 
So overall, let me get into this then. Um, so on Titans, let me, I'm going to go into my sheets real quick. Let me see if I got sheets up. Nope. All right. Give me a second. That's all the way over here. So I'll get in and actually grade her right now too. All right. Guardian Gazelle, uh, her passive. So let's talk about her passive. Her passive is like pretty much running a Tarlac or a Miki, but also having a Wilbur effect too, to where you're reducing all the damage a ton. So that's super important. Um, Gazelle has been absolutely amazing. I do recommend running her over Ranveer or Wukong. I was definitely corrected by that with everybody with the hero grading, with what they've done with her. Um, she is fringe playable on other Titans as well, but she's a must include when you're going up against purple, purple Titans for end player. Uh, she'll be really good for you in general. If you're sick and tired of Wukong missing and you're sick and tired of Ranveer missing, uh, she could definitely fill in kind of that slot. Uh, another major thing to go ahead and point out is that you cannot, cannot stack her and Wukong together. You can't stack her and Tarlac. You can't stack any of them. The only thing that they do is they add that effect to Gazelle itself. So if you run her with Ranveer, you're going to get the 165 plus miss rate on just Gazelle, and all your other heroes are just going to get Gazelle's ability. So just keep that in mind. You can't you can't stack Gazelle and Ranveer. I mean, technically you can, but you're only going to give the effect to uh, to Gazelle and not your other teammates. Uh, so with that being said, uh, she's still going to get an A plus here for her for her passive uh, because that's super important. Uh, versatility. I'm gonna go ahead and give her an A. And she's going to get an A here. Uh, on uh, her passive, she's got an A plus there. Uh, I may give her an A plus on War 2. And she's absolutely still an A plus here. Uh, her passive on defense, an A. As a tank, uh, I'm going to give her a B. As a flank, She's still, she still gets an A, and then as a wing, she's going to get a C. Uh, so on defense, an overall B, but she's all, actually she might be fringe at an A+, plus, or sorry, uh, at an A, because her flank grade might go up to an A+. Plus. We're still testing that out, um, because it's still really, really good. So just as a heads up to to everybody, she might be switched over to uh, to an A grade. Um, so on rush attack, uh, gonna go ahead and give her an A. This is gonna be kind of awkward with buff. As long as you're running your heroes correctly, I can still see her being run as an A. And on bloody battle, I'm gonna give her a B. Uh, an overall hero though at an A plus. So a rare grade here with the overall, uh, her Titan grade, her Titan grade is fringe A plus, like the versatility grade might go up to A plus possibly. Um, but her offensive grade absolutely is an A plus as an overall, uh, she's going to get, she's a fringe A, A plus. And from what, what I've experienced from, from everybody else, what they've gone ahead and stated with Gazelle, um, her capabilities and what she does do is absolutely incredible and she's still being tested as far as what she's doing on defense. So this one here got a little bit higher grade overall than I would have normally given. I would have definitely given her an A grade overall. Um, so the Titan stuff I'm still a little bit concerned about, but from what I'm hearing, the reports that I'm getting back with her being used, she's absolutely bonkers there. So that's uh that's gonna be guarding gazelle now let's go ahead and pull up the chameleon 
So this is Guardian Chameleon. Uh, it is a wizard class, which does uh, rival against like Guinevere if you're using that. Uh, defensive stats, he's got a little bit higher defensive stats than in Gazelle, but overall pretty solid, solid attacking power. So this removes all dispellable and undispellable effects from all enemies. So this is the reserve, uh, reverse, okay? So it makes it so it completely removes all of them. Which is is kind of interesting. Uh, changes the element of all enemies that they are strong against for three turns. So uh, if you do see this go off, it is kind of interesting and weird to see that um, that you're switching them to your colors to where to what you're strong with. So say you've got an all green team, they're blue, whatever. You're gonna switch them all all to be weak against green if that makes sense. So it does add an element of, of interestingness to it that you're going to be switching it all over. Um, could have some definitely positive uses there. Now, uh, the all allies get 54% attack for four turns and the all allies get 36 critical chance for four turns. So it's kind of, it's an interesting hero the only, the only issue that I have is that the changes of element to enemies that they are strong against for three turns, you can see that this becomes really awkward if you are casting Guardian Chameleon. Like, you have to... The reason why it's awkward is because that's for three turns, but your allies getting the attack power up for four turns, as well as a critical chance for four turns, that is awkward because that's for four turns versus the three turns. And you don't want to cast it multiple times. So, so if you cast Guardian Chameleon, you don't want to cast it again within the three turns because then you're switching it again. Um, which it's not going to be a, an issue on defense, or sorry, on offense. But on defense, a lot of times that actually helps you because you're actually switching it to the, the color that they're now weak against. Because you're switching it to, to the color that's strong. I know that that doesn't, that doesn't really make sense. But ultimately it's better to have Guardian Chameleon go off twice in the time. Because it actually helps you out. Um, super kind of complicated. It's my long winded say, my long winded way of saying that the hero itself. It has kind of some cool interesting things to it. Um but ultimately becomes a bit of a liability. Um, the dispellable effects, so let's actually get into the grading itself here. Um, so, Chameleon. Uh, I'm going to give this a B. It's really kind of awkward, I would say. Uh, it could be used, so some people are like, I have like a really good, strong green team, but switching all the colors, like it's just, it's too awkward. Um, I'm, I'm struggling between a B and a C here. I'm going to go with B just because it does give the attack power up, and it does give the critical chance, so there is some there. Um, the stamina, though, is, is really great, so it does have, it does have survivability there. Uh, but ultimately, I'm going to go ahead and give this, um, the tiles aren't that great, it doesn't deal damage, I'm going to go ahead and stick with this C. This is fringe at a B. Um, the passive on offense, I'm still at a C here, I'm at a C here, I'm at a C here. Uh, the passive... On defense, it just, it literally just doesn't do anything. That's the problem, chat. It just doesn't do anything. The tank color, uh, color switching on this, I don't see that being effective anywhere. Unfortunately here, this is my preliminary grade on Guardian Chameleon. I'm not seeing this as being a hero that can be effective 
There is maybe some fringe playability here on offense, which might be fun. I think it's more of a cutesy hero. I think that if you do get the hero, you can use it. It's not a it's not like an awful hero. It's just like I looked at it and I would just run like Gadieris if I had the choice. Um like I like in parallel to what what he does, uh, I'm just running Gadieris instead. Uh, so the Rush Tournament, uh, we'll give you a C there, a B there, um, Bloody, I could see possibly some Fringe, and we're at a C here. So, this is where we're at with the final grades here, preliminarily, uh, for Guardian Chameleon. Possible fringe at a B here, possible fringe at a B here, nothing beyond a C on defense. Um, this is what I would consider a high-end C, C hero, possibly into a B- minus hero, but we don't have those grades, so that's where I'm at with those. Okay. All right. Um, so, yeah. All right, uh, so back into this. All right, so sorry, guys. Back into chat. All right, cool. All right. Three purple sticks are down. Yeah, no, she's really good. Oh, you applied? Cool, Savage. While dancing. No, nobody gains mana. What do you mean by mana? You still you still get mana. All your heroes gain mana. She so goon. We thought that she was terrible on defense, but we've seen a, we've seen a lot of stuff that shows that she actually is pretty decent on on defense. Uh, she's decent right now to where people don't know how to attack her, but she still does take quite a bit. If she goes off. Uh, I've seen, like, people are just, like, doing no damage to the other heroes. Yeah, it does make you bring a full green team, but green already has a really good uh, color stacking. Yeah. Camellia seems like a fun Nichiro, but not a great option for players to build up their roster. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel, Julia. Not a great option but just fun if you're bored of the game type of deal. All right, guys. Uh, I think I'm going to call this a wraps. I really, really appreciate you guys all coming in and hanging out. If you are um, wanting to, if you want to, you want to support the stream, please go ahead. Make sure you click on the links below to download Raid Shadow Legends just to try it out. Let me know what you think. Leave it in the comments. Tell me the game's awesome. Tell me it's bad. Tell me whatever you want. Leave it in the comments. And if you guys could, before you guys leave, uh, just go ahead and leave a like on the video. I do appreciate that. That does help. And thank you, everybody, for coming and hanging out today. So thank you.